and welcome to this edition of our Moose Dog Ata Expedition Log. I'm Tao Yuan. I'm Wang Xi. So this is our fifth day at Moose Dog already. We really wanted to dive right into the core of it and, and show you the real actions of the expedition. But sadly, things have been really slow going here. Let's first explain why we're all bundled up. It's, it's actually not that cold out here. This actually happened quite a few times in the past few days. We were told by the scientists that we can get ready to take the helicopter uh, halfway up to the mountain to the ice core drilling site, which is about 6,500 meters uh, above sea level. But we rushed downstairs and only to be told by the captain that the weather is too risky to fly. Well, I think the helicopter is really a wonderful addition. Um, to scientific research on the Tibetan Plateau in recent yeah. years because it just makes transporting equipment, heavy equipment, living supplies so much easier. That's right. And we don't have to walk all the way up anymore, so it saves a lot of energy. Yeah. But the problem with the helicopter is that you can't just fly whenever you want. You have to wait for the weather, and the weather is just not always right. Yeah, like the heavy wind and rains. Actually, it's raining right now. That's why we can't go up in the afternoon. It's really cloudy. So yeah, we are super frustrated, but we thought that the scientists down here with us were going to be even more frustrated yeah. because after all, they have other members of the team waiting for them on the glacier. Mm. And we even saw a video sent by the members up there and it shows the helicopter hovered for a while and then flew away because it it really couldn't land. So we thought that was really heartbreaking, right? Yeah, but actually, what's funny about it is that the lead scientist of the mission, Professor Xu Baiting, actually takes the time to comfort us and the rest <laughs> yeah. of the team every day. In the meantime, we've mentioned that there's still a group of people up there uh, by the ice core drilling site, right? They're waiting for the professors to go up and join them because this, this is a really difficult mission and they need their professional guidance and experience. Right, these are mostly Tibetan, young Tibetan men who have been working with Professor Xu Baiting and his colleagues for years. And over the years, they have become quite experienced yeah. at drilling ice cores themselves. <laughs> So now the point is, we really don't know when will we get up there. Hopefully as soon as possible so we can bring you amazing stories and sceneries from way up there, 6,500 meters above sea level. So bye for now, guys, and see you hopefully in the next video. We'll be up there. Yeah, stay tuned. Bye. bye.